Hello, this is the hydrogen at the end of the universe. And welcome back to Terraria. As you might remember from last time, um, uh, uh, what were we doing last time? Oh yeah, we were exploring down here, and honestly, I think that we've gotten all the value out of that area that we can for now, because it's just a bit too difficult for us to actually really properly deal with right now, unfortunately. A shame, but a true one. Guess you can go there for now. Because I need a minimum platinum before I'm willing to face the Eater of Worlds. So let's check what I'm like on that front. Okay, so I've got 23 bars and technically enough platinum, but I'd rather uh, not mess with that right now. Now, if I remember correctly, I do actually have a fair bit of silt. Right? Pretty sure I have a bunch of silt somewhere. Yeah. It's not amazing, but it can be turned into something fairly useful. And that is what I'm going to go and do. Oh, what do you want? Oh, apparently I've already gotten him a fish. So, I do not need to get him another one. Now, I'm obviously not going to get much out of this, but I do always find this to be a useful method. And who knows, maybe I'll even get one of the rarer items that uh, they can give you. Okay, and how much platinum did I get? Twelve. I was actually hoping for a number that isn't evenly divisible. Also, I need to go and get you, because you are... I need to go and get you, because you're slightly on the rare side. Well, not really, you're just not something I'm gonna be likely to encounter much. And, uh, unfortunately, that means I need to get your banner. Let's just quickly smelt up what we have. Okay. Now let's move. Okay. So, I think that that's actually enough to now make the greaves. Or are they leggings? I honestly can't remember that well, but I think that that should be enough to make them. But then that means I've got to do another mining trip, and this one will be a bit longer. Oh wait, now I need to get the anvil. Yes. And with that, I think that at minimum, putting on both the helmet and the uh, and the and the uh, greaves should be at least equal to 35. Um, uh, if not outright more. Yes, 36. Only an increase of one. What I really want is I want to get enough um, platinum to make the platinum, uh, I guess, I think it's it's either breastplate or chainmail, I don't know. Um, but in any case, that's what I want to get, because right now that is the most powerful one. And Silver Armor, you served me well for a good while in this series, but now is your time to be put away for a while. 
Eventually, you'll actually end up on an armor stand, likely a more central armor stand in honor of the fact of how many bo of how long he helped me for, but still. Um. Uh. I haven't gone down there. Okay. That'll do. Now that route is not part of this one. That route's part of, uh... That route's part of the, uh... The western lines over here. Or the, is the eastern. I never remember which direction, uh... I believe these, yeah, this would be the eastern direction, because this is the side that the sun in-game rises. And before, and before somebody who doesn't know much about this game tries, and say, tries to say that this game probably doesn't have east and west, it actually does have east and west, they're just, um, uh, it, it, you just need particular items to actually see those words. In any case, this is the Eastern Mine. Well, actually, right now, this is Gemwalk. I always enjoy this little town. I'm actually somewhat proud of it. It's not all that special or anything, but it's fun. I like that one. Now I'm well and truly going down. Come on. And through. And the place I was thinking of checking is on the end of the first um, minecart ride. So, let's go! Whee! Um, minecart. Ooh. I think that's just a single platinum, but... That is literally the entire reason why I'm here, to get platinum, so... I think it's worthwhile to go out of my way to get a single one. Ooh. I do not trust this at all. I don't see any traps, and normally this game honestly isn't the greatest at hiding dead man chest traps, so... I guess it's fine. Ooh! Armored Lucky Horseshoe... Um... For now, you can actually go in place of you. Um, mostly just because what you provide is so powerful. Just so, just so anybody who doesn't know knows, Lucky Horseshoe literally just negates fall damage. Um, uh, which is just such a nice thing to have. Not fall damage, I mean. Um, uh, the ability to completely negate it. Ooh, got another cave bat banner. But they themselves didn't drop anything. That right there is a uh, platinum. Don't know how I've missed this before, but there it is. Oh, I didn't mean to break the track. And I should probably also be uh, grabbing silt as well. There we go. And I know there was some silt over here.
and I'm not letting you hit me because uh, you, the debuff you apply is just so annoying. Now, maybe up here there's something. Hey, there's life crystal. That's something. Actually, there's two life crystals. Neat. Uh, I believe that's a diamond gem tree, which is pretty cool. And there we go. Um, let's take down you. And yep, diamond. That's a... Uh, Unfortunately, not as good as it would be if we were in another game. <laughs> no, but seriously, Diamond and Traria, while somewhat rare, isn't really all that useful. More just kind of a cool block. I mean, eventually, as I've said in a few times now, I intend to get every single item this game has to offer, and that includes weird and uh, and cert weird items that uh, normally you wouldn't really think to even consider, let alone get, but as playing a uh, completionist, I will be kind of required to get them at some point. Okay, if I want platinum though, this isn't going to work. So, I have an idea. Um, potions. Okay, I've got four. Although they're only five minute duration, so maybe I should grab two, just in case. Although, before I actually go there, I'm gonna put away the money I've gotten. And I'm going to combine my sandstorm in a balloon with the horseshoe. It'll still have all the same functionalities, it'll just be, um, only, it'll just take up one less slot. Ah, but it did unfortunately give me a worse, um, uh, a worse thing, what do you call it? Um, uh, a worse modifier. So, when we go through Gemlock, I need to make sure to uh, reforge some of that. Oh, I should probably, while I'm here, actually smelt up the platinum that I got. Um. Oh, only six. Weird. I would have thought there would have been more there. Ah, and I forgot to, uh, to actually mess with the silt, so let me do that another time. But yeah, now I don't actually have to worry about taking fall damage anymore, which is going to be real nice, because... I'm going to be honest, I've always been really bad at determining at what point you take fall damage. And with the amount of movement accessories I have equipped, yeah, the risk of accidentally just obliterating yourself because you didn't realize, and because you jumped too high is, well, it's a lot higher than it would normally be, that's for certain. Hello. I need you to make this a little bit better. Oh, God. Eh. No. Mm. 
Ah, thank you. Now you. Oh, you actually don't cost that much. No. 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 Eh. Come on. Stop taking all my money. There we go. I've got a full 40 defense. Because I think that every single one of my... Uh, no, you're armored. Which, honestly, after just nearly draining myself of money, um, I'm fine leaving it at... Uh, I'm fine leaving it at... at uh, I'm fine leaving it at armored. Plus, it would only bring me... Plus, warding on it would only bring me to, uh, 41, and I highly doubt a single defense is gonna make that much of a difference. Okay. And now, once we're down here... I just realized I accidentally quick stacked away my uh, the thing that was literally the whole reason why I went down here in the first place. <laughs> um, I mean, you went back up here, and that was the Splunker potions. Uh... I, see, once you do have the uh, the horseshoe, another very nice thing is you really get to start really having fun with the movement in the game, since you really don't have to worry anymore about, um, well, accidentally obliterating yourself because you miscalculated how far to the ground something was. Ooh, got a mining helmet off of you. I wonder. It is a material. I wonder what it can be combined with. Come on. I mean... What do you... None of you? Come on, please. Just... One of you sell the pylon. It's literally all I need out of this place. At this point. Nope, none of you. Okay. I knew none of them would. Nothing had changed since the last time I checked, but... I don't know. I guess I wasn't really being entirely logical, but... Given how nice it would have been to not have to come all the way back down here just because I accidentally quick-stacked my Belunker potions away, Makes you uh, really uh, yearn for the uh, for the what's it called uh, for the pylon network to be set up. So I'm just gonna go all the way to the end, drink the Splunker potion, and then sail along the whole track. Okay, platinum there. Big chunk of platinum there. Platinum down there. Platinum there. Um, platinum there and a chest there. Uh, um. Good. One sec. Uh, luckily, we only have nine minutes left, but so we can finish off this episode. But my dad's coming home, and 
I don't really uh, trust um, uh, him to be in the house when I'm when I'm recording. Platinum there, platinum there. Looks like a gem or something there. Um, platinum there. Why have I never done this before? It seems like a, such an amazing method. Platinum there and there. Platinum there. Big platinum there. Oh yeah, this is a jungle. Um, there is some platinum there, but honestly, I'd rather leave the jungle be for now. For now, I think I'm just gonna go and go after these uh, one at a time. Wait a second, though. Please still be there. No, he's gone. Oh well, I don't have any open housing for him anyways. First patch is right here. So let's go get it. I mean, seriously, why have I never done this before? This just seems like such an amazing idea. Um, is there an easier way of getting at that? Ah, oh, come on. Know if there is, I think. No, there's no easier way of getting at that. I just think I have to directly mind that. At least there's actually some dirt up here. Or actually, a small but large enough cave that I can uh, utilize. That's a gem cave up there. This is a gem cave. I don't know if I've seen one of those in a while, in all honesty. Okay. Um, these are some gems, just topaz, but still. Wow, there's a lot more stuff down here than I actually ever realized. I always forget about the Splunker Potion. Pretty much only ever use it to find um, uh, chests and heart crystals that are bothering me on the uh, little detector. I am kind of running out of this particular Splunker potion, but that's why I uh, that's why I made two. Well, I not made. I think both of these are just stuff I found, but that's why I grabbed two, anyways. Oh, oh, look at this. One second. Actually, I'm going to do it like this so that I don't, I don't know if uh, the Splunker Potion effect applies to, uh, to the snapshots, but just in case it does, I want to uh, make sure I don't get any awkward things. Oh, look at this place, though. I think before I activate the next one, I should probably go in and uh, well, mine this all up. It's a shame that the background walls don't actually... I mean, maybe they do? No. 
The background walls are just purely decorative, which is something of a shame. Because, I mean, on top of being able to make a bunch of stuff with the gems, there's another thing that the gems have going for them, and that's that they're, well, gems, and I think each one of these is like 15 silver, or something like that. I think that this single-handedly might actually be enough to uh, restore my uh, my wealth after wasting it all on getting uh, these two reforged to warding. I will admit one of my favorite things, I haven't even gotten a chance to experience it myself, but I've seen it, the, the 1.4 update adds, is the ability to actually place the gem ores yourself. Like, you can actually now properly uh, make them and then place them, which I think is just an amazing feature. In fact, they even added a gem ore which you can't normally find, the uh, amber one. Since normally amber is you just get in this raw gem form. I mean, look at that. 32 and 21. That is ridiculous. But I like it. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Um. Okay. Let's do that. And then. Oh, there's one down there. Okay, so, time to get digging downwards. Because I see that right down there. That's a big patch, meaning that it's actually worth my time to go and find it. Come on. Just need to get rid of that little one there. Now I've got a little breathing hole. I mean, this is just such an amazing idea. Why have I not done this before? There we go. Now let's see what else we've got. <laughs> I rode killed that. Um There we go. Firstly, this one's really easy to see and therefore get what's in there. Oh no. <laughs> I'm afraid I won't be going in there, unless... No, I don't see it, unfortunately. Because there's the one thing in there that I would actually be willing to go out of my way and get. Um, you know what? Because there was that little call I had to take... Um, by the way... I didn't intend you, you guys to really hear it, but do you like how my ringtone is the, uh, the Portal Radio song? I always enjoyed that song. And I think for, and I think for a ringtone it works actually very well. Importantly, there's platinum.
There's another chunk of platinum over here. Don't think you can escape from me. You're mine. But yeah, I'll quickly just wait out the last minutes on the Spelunker potion before signing out. There's one thing I can rely on my dad to be, it's slow. I mean, slower than he should be. Um, I should probably go after a larger chunk. Because I've seen larger chunks. Um... Not you, not you, not you, come on. I swear I saw a larger chunk earlier. It's one that I like, would have called a mother load. Mm, that one. Right there. Okay, we're digging straight down into it. may hide, but you can't run. You're literally immobile blocks. Okay. And there we go. Now, let's see here. 156. Now, let me check, but I think that... Well, I think that that's just generally a lot. I'm not certain. But I'm pretty certain that that is a lot of platinum. And I want to get it smelted before I call this episode over. Oh, I can make the gem locks. Hmm. Okay. 49 is definitely enough to make you. Oh, look at that. Firstly, there's 5 from the helmet, so that's 10, that's 16, plus 4 is a full 20 defense from this set. Yes. Well, I would normally uh, just keep going and just start another uh, episode. But, um, yeah. My dad's coming. And while he's bringing food, he's also, uh, probably not going to be too considerate of the fact that I'm recording. So, I'm going to end it off here. Thanks for watching. This has been the Hydrogen at the End of the Universe. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Not, it not only does it help out the channel, but it's just generally a nice thing to do. Um, this has been the Hydrogen at the End of the Universe. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.